हेलो वेलकम बैक गाइज टूडेज टॉपिक इज अबाउट स्टोरेज मेमोरी एंड इट्स टाइप्स लाइक रैम रॉम एंड वी विल फॉलो डिफरेंट एम सी क्यूज ऑन द दिस पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक एंड इट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक एंड मोस्ट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन आर आस्कड फ्राम दिस टॉपिक एज वेल सो दिस इज अवर थर्ड लेक्चर ऑफ द सीरीज सो लेट इज कंटिन्यू टूडे वी विल कवर मेमोरी वट इज मेमोरी प्राइमरी मेमोरी एंड सेकेंडरी मेमोरी दिस आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ मेमोरीज इन द कंप्यूटर एंड देन वी हैव two types of uh, primary uh, two types of primary memory and also secondary memory we have different types we will explain them one by one okay so let's continue what is memory actually memory is is that part of computer or electronic machine which is used to store some data okay uh, so particularly it is used for storing data so it has main two types any machine any computer machine or laptop has two types of memories one is primary memory and another is secondary memory what is primary memory first of all it is the main memory of the computer it is the primary as name suggests that it is the primary it is the main memory on which computer runs actually uh, which is very necessary for the computer to in order to process in order to run okay so primary memory is uh that memory which is uh, very basic for the computer to in order to perform some operation and two types of primary memory the uh, primary memory is of two types one is ram and another is rom that is ram and rom so uh primary memory is used for starting up the machine starting of machine and all that and primary tasks for primary tasks as well okay let us explain the two types of primary memory first then we will jump to the secondary memory so as we have discussed what is primary memory it is the main memory on which uh, which is the necessity necessary part of the computer in order to run any program or any uh, task okay so it has two types one is ram and one is rom what is ram ram is ra full the full form of ram is random access memory ram is that type of primary memory which is used to st store the data and which is used to run the machine and uh, another property of ram is it stores data temporarily not permanently it is volatile in nature that is it needs electricity to run it needs electricity to store the data so here we have three points ram is that memory which is used to run the machine it is the main memory or internal memory we say sometimes it is used to store data temporarily it stores data temporarily it needs electricity that means it is volatile in nature that means it needs electricity to uh, store the data then we have rom rom is another type of primary memory which is the full form of rom is read only memory it is actually uh, you know, placed when the computer is built and it stores some uh, basic uh, data it uh, it is non volatile in nature it does not need electricity to store the data so this these are the properties of rom so uh, difference between ram and rom is ram is volatile while rom is non volatile it does not need electricity to store the data small it is a small chip the size of rom is generally 1 to 2 mb mbs and it is used to store the smaller uh, system data like a uh, date and time maintaining date and time and all that of the system okay these are two types of primary memory clear till now okay J jumping to our secondary memory what is secondary memory secondary memory is any memory which is used to store the data permanently okay it is also non volatile that means it does not need energy or electricity to store the data what are the types of secondary memory hard disk we have pen drives usb drives sd cards magnetic tapes cd dvds these are all secondary memories even if it is put inside if hard disk is inside the uh, computer uh, still it is called as secondary memory because it stores data uh, permanently it does not need electricity to store the uh, data it is a non volatile in nature okay so these are two types of uh, memories primary memory and secondary memory and uh, we have discussed the properties of primary memory and secondary memory uh, ram and rom separ separately and all the secondary memories okay clear so sit uh, further this ram has further two types and rom has further three types okay so no major major of uh, major of the time is uh, the main questions are asked on this ram and rom okay we will see in the next mcqs also major uh, variety of questions are on this okay so this is the diagram uh, we can see how many types of memories are there except this this is not there sorry 
you don't need to remember this one so we have primary memory primary memory has two types one is ram random access memory and read only memory you have to remember the full form sometimes you are have you are asked the full form of this also ep rom or eep rom etc okay so uh, random access memory ram has two types one is dram that is dynamic ram and s ram that is static ram static random access memory dynamic random access memory read only memory has two types p rom programmable read only memory and ep rom elect uh, erasable programmable uh, re read only memory and we have eep rom that is electrically electrical erasable programmable read only memory you have to remember the full form as well uh, let us discuss each of uh, each one and properties of each one okay so coming to this as we have discussed what is ram ram is random access memory we have discussed read only memory okay so let us uh, discuss the types of ram s ram and that is static random access memory and d ram that is dynamic random access memory what is static ram St the main property of static ram or s ram is that it uses full of uh, flip flops to store the data and it is volatile in nature that means elect electricity is needed to store the data but and uh, it requires less power it requires less power to store the data while on the other hand DRAM is dynamic random access memory it uh, the capacitors and transistors are used which are made of metal oxides of, uh, of metal oxide semiconductors those are used to store the data so what is the main difference between uh, SRAM and DRAM SRAM uses uh, flip-flops to store the data it is volatile in nature while DRAM uses uh, semiconductors like uh, met, uh, metal oxide semiconductors like transistors and capacitors to store the data and DRAM requires more power to store the data while it requires less power to store the data this is the main difference between SRAM and DRAM these are the very basic points you need to remember about this SRAM and DRAM coming to the ROM types first is PROM programmable read only memory oh, setting of each bit is in this setting of each bit is locked by fuse or anti-fuse this is the main property of PROM that is set uh, um, each bit is locked by the fuse or anti-fuse data is stored permanently that we have already discussed that is the property of read-only memory and data is stored permanently that is PROM what is EPROM? EPROM is erasable programmable read-only memory and this is non-volatile in nature as we said that uh, we did, does not need electricity to store the data and can retrieve data when power is turned off it can retrieve data when power is turned off this is EPROM okay and then we have EEP ROM electrical electrically erasable programmable read only memory the property of this is this is allowing individual bytes to be erased and reprogrammed and your uh, floating gate transistors are used to store the data in this type of uh, ROM and what individual bytes can be erased or reprogrammed in this otherwise read only the, is storage data permanently you cannot read or write um, uh, these operations are not allowed but e in EEP ROM you can erase uh, individual bytes not as a whole you cannot uh, 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 you cannot uh, displace other data on this uh, uh, actually you can only displace or uh, replace or uh, change the data individually in bytes okay these are the main properties of this uh, RAM uh, and ROM uh, the types of RAM and ROM and properties of each individual type of RAM and ROM okay clear till now so as we know everything has a unit okay we need to have some unit to measure something for example if I have to weight something we, I will weight uh, it in kilograms or grams or tons okay if I have to measure something I will measure it in centimeters millimeters kilometers and all so what is the unit of memory how much data is can be stored in memory that needs to be uh, measured in some form okay so that for that there is a unit of memory that is called a bit byte kilobyte megabyte these are all byte uh, these uh, units of the memory like we can say for example we have a uh, we have to measure some small thing we will measure it in millimeter or centimeter if we have to measure some big thing that we will measure it in kilometer similarly if we have small memory small things we need to store like uh, some text uh, small text or character you need some bit or byte for that but if you have lot of files a lot of heavy data you can store it on terabytes megabytes gigabytes hexabytes petabytes and all okay clear so let us talk about the these uh, units of memory as well 
so unit is a memory smallest unit of memory is bit what is the smallest unit of memory it is also asked in the, some mcqs also smallest unit of memory is always bit that is it is stored in the transistor or register in the form of 0 or 1 means you either it has absence of signal or presence of signal then we have next uh, uh, first we have bit that is 0 or 1 this is the smallest unit and then we have byte that is 8 bits makes one one byte 8 bits makes one byte so second unit is byte and there is one uh, also one unit in between these two that is called a nibble nibble is four bits okay you have to remember this also so there is a unit between bit and byte that is called a nibble which is comp which comprises of four bits okay then we have next kilobyte and kb and megabyte then gigabyte then terabyte petabyte exabyte zettabyte and yottabyte these are the units of the memory okay so when we talk about kilobyte 1024 bytes makes one kilobyte one uh, th then from here it is same 1024 1024 okay and the preceding one 1024 bytes make one kilobyte 1024 kilobytes make one megabyte 1024 megabytes make one gigabyte 1024 gigabytes make one terabyte 1024 terabytes make one petabyte 1024 petabytes make exabyte and so on so it will flow like that okay clear you need to stop memory clear okay you have to remember these okay the basic thing you need to remember here is that uh, bit is either zero or one individually not together okay and uh, second unit is byte that is comp that comprises of eight bits rest all are 1024 uh, and the preceding uh, preceding unit okay so clear till now and then we will move to the next and now we have mcqs on this small topic we have covered a very small topic that is memory primary memory secondary memory its types its properties and uh, some units of memory now we will solve some mcqs on this so let us see you will solve yourself and uh, uh, i will so uh, let you solve first then uh, we will solve together okay you will see whether you have got how much you have got correct answers and how much you got wrong okay clear so here first uh, question is storage which stores or retains data after power is called is volatile non volatile sequential direct none of these manager pass uh, pehle bhi bola ki any uh, storage device which is uh, which needs power to store the data is volatile okay and which does not needs power it says it retrieves data uh, retains data means data is stored still when power is also off power is off but data is still retained in that so that is that type of memory is called a non volatile that means it does not need electricity to store the data so first answer first uh, question answer is b part non volatile storage okay then we have second question a permanent memory which he, which hails data and instruction for startup the computer and does not erase data after power off we have already discussed this very easy question ek to ye permanent memory hai which is hailed data and instruction as start up of the computer jab start hum computer karte hain usi time jo it uske information instructions usme store hoti hai like date and time and all that and data bhi erase nahi hota but when power is off we know that ram needs power to store the data cpu is not memory network interface card uh, does uh, we have not discussed and it does not include in this so the correct answer is rom so second question answer is wrong which of the following memories must be refreshed many times per second which of the memories which of the following memories must be refreshed many times per second so the ep rom it does not need refresh okay it start uh, stores data permanently we know that rom stores that rom also stores so it must be one either static ram or dynamic ram so the answer for this is dynamic ram because dynamic ram needs to be get uh, refreshed per second that is why it needs more energy electricity to run uh, store the data than static ram okay then we have usb type storage device is usb type of storage we, as we discussed secondary memory is in secondary memory we have different storage devices uh, so neither it is auxiliary not territory not primary it is a secondary memory okay next we have fifth question which of the following places the common data elements in order from smallest to largest smallest to largest kya agar character hoti to fir record hota 
तो ये यहीं पे फेल हो रहा फाइल पहले ही नहीं आएगा ठीक है करेक्टर रिकॉर्ड फील्ड डेटाबेस एंड फाइल पहले फाइल आती फील्ड डेटाबेस आता ये भी नहीं है तो इसका करेक्ट जो आंसर है वो बिट बाइट करेक्टर देखो सबसे स्मॉलेस्ट बिट है देन बाइट देन करेक्टर देन रिकॉर्ड देन फील्ड देन फाइल एंड डेटाबेस तो ये पूरा ऑर्डर में है फ्रॉम स्मॉलेस्ट टू लार्जेस्ट तो करेक्ट आंसर इज डी पार्ट ओके सिक्स क्वेश्चन वी हैव विच डिवाइस इज यूज टू बैकअप द डेटा कौन सा डिवाइस यूज होता है टू बैकअप द डेटा फ्लॉपी डिस्क हाँ होती है मैग्नेटिक टेप और टेप ये भी होता है नेटवर्क डाइव भी होता है ठीक है ये तीनों होते हैं फॉर बैकअप मीनस ये सेकेंडरी डिवाइस है ऑल तो इसका जो करेक्ट आंसर है वो ऑल अब दे अब वो है सेवंथ ए हाफ बाइट इज नोन एज एज आई डिस्कस इट देयर देयर इज ए वन यूनिट ऑल्सो बिटवीन द बिट एंड बाइट दैट इज कॉल्ड नेबल सो द करेक्ट आंसर फॉर दिस इज सेवंथ क्वेश्चन इज नेबल नेब इज देयर एनी नेब यस डी पार्ट इज द करेक्ट आंसर ओके देन वी हैव क्वेश्चन एट मेन मेमोरी ऑफ कंप्यूटर इज जो मेन मेमोरी ऑफ कंप्यूटर क्या होती है मैंने पहले भी बोला है इंटरनल मेमोरी एक्सटर्नल मेमोरी बोथ ए एंड बी ऑक्जिलेरी नान ऑफ दिस मेन मेमोरी जो होती है वो इंटरनल मेमोरी होती है जिसमें रैम आता है ओके सो दैट इज द मेन मेमोरी विच इज यूज टू रन द कंप्यूटर एंड विच इज द मेन विच इज यूज फॉर बेसिक प्रोसेसिंग ओके विदाउट विच कंप्यूटर कैन नॉट रन ओके देन वी हैव अनदर क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन विच इज द परमानेंट मेमोरी बिल्ट इन टू यूर कंप्यूटर कार्ड वट इज द परमानेंट मेमोरी बिल्ट इन टू यूर कंप्यूटर कार्ड परमानेंट मेमोरी जो हम बिल्ट करते हैं कंप्यूटर में उसको हम क्या कहते हैं रैम नो परमानेंटली स्टोर करता है परमानेंट मेमोरी है तो परमानेंटली कौन सा मेमोरी स्टोर करती है दैट इज रॉम सो रॉम इज द करेक्ट आंसर फॉर दिस तो पी बी पार्ट ओके हेयर अनदर क्वेश्चन विच स्टेटमेंट इज वैलिड इसमें से देखना है वैलिड कौन सा है मैंने पहले ही बोला वो जो यूनिट हमने देखे थे 1024 बाइट्स मेक्स वन किलो बाइट ये तो करेक्ट है ये वाला आप पहला ही वाला देखो वन एम बी मेक इज इक्वल टू थाउजेंड बाइट्स ये वन एम कितना होता है वन एम होता है 1024 ये रॉन्ग है दिस इज नॉट इक्वल टू दिस बिकॉज इट विल इट विल बी मोर बाइट्स ओके वन एम इज मोर देन दिस देन वी हैव सी वन एम बी इज इक्वल टू थाउजेंड टेन थाउजेंड किलो बाइट्स नहीं ये वन थाउजेंड वन थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर किलो बाइट्स होता है एंड वन के बी इज कॉल्ड हंड्रेड बाइट्स ये भी करेक्ट रॉन्ग है सो द करेक्ट आंसर फॉर दिस इज ए वन के बी इज इक्वल टू वन थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर बाइट्स ओके थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो एंड प्लीज कॉमेंट हाउ मेनी यू गॉट करेक्ट इन दिस ओके थैंक यू